Greetings fellow Watford fans, Omar here, and it's time for the Yawns Friday focus on Watford versus Millwall tomorrow at the Vic. That's right, Watford, who have won two consecutive games and have kept two consecutive clean sheets in the process. Take on Millwall, the team that have given Watford a lot of trouble and bother over the last season or so. We saw this, of course, last season where Watford lost twice to Millwall. Millwall did the double and kept Watford scoreless in both games, a 2-0 defeat in the Vic on Boxing Day. And just a few weeks before that, a 3-0 win over the Hornets at the Den. Now, what? But Watford are coming off of two very good games where they persevered and got wins. First game was not well played by Watford. That's the one against Sheffield Wednesday last Saturday. The game against Swansea City, they won a couple of days ago, a few days ago now, earlier in this week, a lot better purpose and persistence by Watford. And we'll be looking for the very same things from this Golden Boy team coming up tomorrow against a very tricky Millwall side who just lost going into the previous game. I think Watford are going to have to continue, obviously, to keep the same kind of resiliency and resolve and persistence to get past a very dangerous Millwall side. They've got a lot of set pieces and a lot of people who can hurt you in their team. And Watford are going to have to defend set pieces well. They defended them pretty darn well, mind you, against Swansea for their first away win since January. And they're going to have to obviously continue to do that tomorrow against Millwall. Watford will have the suspended previously responded Ryan Porteous back. Although I expect that Ryan Porteous is going to be on the bench for this one after Francisco Sierralta's really good performance on Tuesday night at Swansea in that back four. I think he should stay there. And I actually think that Matthias Martins, who was off the boil a little bit in the game on Tuesday, should actually come off the bench and, instead of starting this one. Because I think Ken Summer, his two games... Uh, including the one on Tuesday against Swansea, has merited a start. Now, we'll see if that happens. We'll see if there's a possibility of Martins coming off the bench. He would give a lot of energy coming off the bench in an energized unit. Or perhaps, perhaps, I don't know if this would happen, you'd switch Ken Semmer over to the right-hand side. You really shouldn't disrupt left back because I think that Jamal Lewis is doing very well there. So you should keep him where he is. Now, in the past, Ken Semmer has played left back and Jamal Lewis has had to come off the bench. And then you've had Martin stay in that front three on that left side. I would like to see if Val can play about with that and have Martins come off the bench. Really have Martins come off the bench. You could have Ince come off the bench as well if you're going to put Ken Semmer on that right-hand side because he can actually play on the right, but his preferred side, his stronger side, is on the left. I would like to see the starting lineup look a little bit like this for tomorrow. I'd have Ken Semmer starting on the left side. I'd have Bio up top in the middle. And on the right-hand side, I would have Ince. Then in the midfield, I'd keep the way it was from the previous game. I'd have Kayembe and, of course, Kone. And then, of course, holding, I would have Livermore, who's done a really decent job so far. And then, of course, your back three, back four would be, of course, Lewis, the central defensive pairing of Sierra Alta and Hurt. And then on the right-hand side, Jeremy Ngaki, who is actually having a good spell as a right back at Watford, probably his best spell of his career at Watford since he's been here. So I think that's how it should look tomorrow. Now, whether Val puts out that team or not tomorrow is quite another story. What do you think? Should Martin start or should Semmer start in that left position in that front three? I would like Martins to come off the bench because I think he brings more energy. Martins, no doubt, I think has been the player of the season thus far. But I would like to see Ken Semmer in that starting role because I think the last two performances and his two man of the match performances, I should say, have earned just that. Watford, important to get off to a good start tomorrow against Millwall at home and make sure that you do not let up. Bring the game to Millwall. Don't allow Millwall to get into the game. Do not allow Millwall to settle into the game. Make sure that you set the dict and set the terms and dictate the terms of engagement tomorrow on the pitch at the Vic.
This has been the Yuan's Friday Focus. <laughs>